Chicago is today's destination for the New York Red Bulls who have come up short on the road so far this season. They'll take on a fire team that has struggled for goals and are in search of their first win of the season. KO, three goals in his last 61 games at the club level. It's about time he starts earning his paycheck for the New York Red Bull. MLS star for Hunter Jumper at left back. Yeah, but let's be honest, all eyes are on Joel Lemper. He's returning to the 100th game. He's playing against his team. I love him out wide left. As we told you, in the build-up to kick off, this is a place where New York has struggled mightily in recent seasons. They've never actually won here at Toyota Park. Their last win came as the Metro Stars all the way back in 2005. Right to the corner, this time high towards Cahill. Added back into the mix and hooked on goal and in! Hamison Alave with his back to goal, performing some acrobatics. And the set piece has paid dividends for the Red Bulls. It's Alave on target, the Red Bulls in front. And when you watch this, this is all Tim Cahill. All Tim Cahill, because this free kick from Janino is not good enough. And your only job there is to put it back in front of the goal. And yes, Brandon Barklage wins that ball, and Olave finishes it. But that's Tim Cahill winning a ball that he has no business winning, putting in front of the goal. And Chicago just doesn't do a good enough job of manning their, their guy. Look at this. Who wants it more? It's all New York, Barklage, Olave. 1-0 New York. The Dutchman on his way, but Alave staying with him. A real clash of the times, that one. McDonald getting it across. Lorentowicz lining it up. Peeling for handball, and the penalty is given. The Fire have a chance to get themselves back in the game. Jeff Lorentowicz with the shots. There's going to be some protest for the likes of Holgerson and Janino, but... Clearly Johnny Steele, whose arm it struck. It's Rolf. Oh, and he's put it wide. Well, the season just won't get going for Frankie Klopas. He sent Robles the wrong way, but he sent it the wrong side of the post. Well, and when it's going the wrong way, it is going the wrong way. This does not even hit the frame. has changed that. Well, the first two weeks of the season, you didn't know if Holgerson was even going to make it in the 18. Long chase on here for Janino. Rolling it across for Luyen Dula, who got there and really probably should have done better. Delightfully picked out by the low, trundling cross from Janino. It's not probably, Adrian. This is a must. Great run from Janino, and Luyen Dula has done this. In his first two or three games, he makes great runs, but we saw it against Montreal, we saw it against Philadelphia. He misses chances consistently. And why he tries to use the outside of his right foot, that's the inside of the left foot. Simple, fundamental. Sean Johnson's in no man's land if that's on frame. Great ball from Janino. Donald again. Going into the area, but it's an alarm. He's got his mind there. Crosses a floater! Robles lost it! And Palladini took full advantage! Just the tonic for the fire. They haul themselves level. Robles perhaps confused by the flight, the sunshine. Whatever it was, Daniel Palladini made him pay. It was the win, Adrian, and I know I've been talking about it, but watch this cross. Because it's going into the wind, Robles thinks he has it, but now the ball comes out, it gets caught up, and give Palladini a ton of credit here. Too often you see players just not see the ball through, that is well done. That's big time, creating something out of nothing, seeing the play through. Well-deserved goal from Palladini, because he wanted it more than Robles. Oh, just when it looked like they were going to be heading in with another deficit, Palladini has changed the picture here. The new the revolution at one Taylor 12, but I think we've seen played each other seven straight playoffs. His lip pair, he's through. Lip pair. Oh, he could have stuck a dagger into his old club there, but uh, he pulled his shot just wide. 
But this is why Joel Impair is so much more effective when he's out wide, because then he can tuck inside and then be that third attacker. It's a nightmare. You see Barklage and Alave really having a tough time picking him up. But when Joel Impair starts from an outside position and then comes in and tucks in, just so much more dangerous. Mike on Santos, I was asking you about him, Taylor. With his uh, fifth different MLS club as Henri is on his way. Louis Dula arriving. Henri! A corner back off the post! Louis Dula! Well, he couldn't take advantage of the rebound, but Henri so close. Giving the Red Bulls the lead. If you've played for five clubs in five years, something's a little off there. You're not fitting into the locker room or whatever that is because he keeps changing teams. Seven goals last year. For DC, his best output is another offside that denies Thierry Henry. It was the woodwork that denied Henry just a few moments ago. Just such a good run, though, because he's come into this game and realized that two inexperienced center backs are having a tough time dealing with Louis Nula getting over the top. So what does Thierry Henry come in? He peels off the shoulder. So immediately when that ball turns over, he's now an outlet to get in behind. Rolf. Match to find Palladini, and this is promising. Mikon Santos on his way for Chicago. The cutback from Mikon Santos, and the finish! Oh, yes! Mikon Santos has made the impact that the fire desperately needed, and they lead 2 1 late on against New York. And I question Santos coming into this game of doing something. My apologies, big man, because this is something special. Watch this cut. Whoops. Thank you very much. And that is your job coming in as a center forward. He sets up Olave perfect. Olave thinks and knows he's going to have a hit. Great cut and even a better finish. He sets himself up, collects it, picks his head up. What a goal. What a goal from the second half sub. Icon Santos, 2-1 Chicago. Now, so look to replicate one of Janino's strikes, perhaps. Palladini going for the floater. Lorenzo hits. Icon Santos! It's three! And surely that's three points now for the fire for the first time this season. One thing's for certain about Michael Santos in his career in MLS is when he scores, he scores in bunches. I mean, look at how easy this defending is from Alave and Hogerson. Jeff Lorenowitz doing all he can to head it back across the, but look at Hogerson, nowhere near Santos. He gets caught ball watching, easy finish. It's uh, going to be a little too little, too late. And then towards McCarthy, who got there, and it was actually a really decent opportunity. But it's the last one of the game. The Red Bulls have gone down to defeat again by the same score on as their last trip here.